separated or, or just separated. Okay, do you change any of the environment or the diet? Uh, so far it's the same. Everything is the same? Huh? Yeah. Okay. So, from uh, today, August 24th to zero one six. How old is your therapy now? It's about, about a, a year old plus. Uh. Year old plus? Uh. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. so uh. You kept for about a year, is it? I kept about... Um, I think about one year. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary education video sponsored by Tuapayo Vets, where veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. This video is about penile prolapse in red yurt sliders. Let us now see what exactly is a penile prolapse. So this is the anatomy of a red ear slider. There's a green shell, a red ear, a green body, a tail, and webbed feet, which have long claws for males and short claws for females. The penis is usually in the shell, and we usually cannot see it. The red ear slider you saw at the start of the video is a variation known as the albino caramel variation. But at the end of the day, it is still the same species, being a red ear slider. Next, we see what happens during penile prolapse. Basically, the penis comes out from the shell and we will be able to visibly see it. And sometimes, the red ear slider allows this to happen. And this can be caused by stress, parasites, dehydration, or as a part of a natural process, such as preparation for mating. There are also some other possible reasons that this could happen. And usually, in most cases, the pinions of the red ear slider will retract back into its body. And this is a completely natural process, and if this happens, there is absolutely nothing to worry about, and we do not call this penile prolapse. However, in some cases, the penis remains outside for extended periods of time, therefore possibly getting infected, having overexposure or being damaged by either itself or other radius sliders biting or scratching it with their claws and this causes the penis to become necrotic which means that tissues die as well as inflamed. Because of this, the penis is unable to retract back and we call this situation penile prolapse. Now let's see how we can diagnose a radius slider with penile prolapse through physical examination and learning about its history. Firstly, physical examination. So this is the case where we saw at the start of the video, and you can see the cloaca, which is the orifice for the digestive, the reproductive, and the urinary tracts. And the swollen penis can be clearly seen in this video, and we can see that it's significantly larger than the cloaca, preventing it from going back. Next, let's see how knowing the history of a red yard slider can help us diagnose it with penile prolapse. The reason why I ask you whether any change in the environment or this is sometimes stress factor affects it. So stress from the environment, noise, pollution. Uh, no, not really. Every time it's, it's, it's all the same. Uh. For the past few months, the same environment. Uh. Okay, okay, no yeah. problem. But eat, eat well. Uh. Okay, no, cool. uh, eat, uh, Except one. today. Uh. Uh, cannot go back. Uh. <laughs> Uh, okay, can. Now that we understand and have diagnosed the red ear slider with penile prolapse, what are the treatment options? Uh, okay, so this one, uh, you know yourself, this one is a red uh, penis prolapse. Uh. Okay, this is a penile prolapse. Okay, so basically, usually what we do right, is we will try to bring down the inflammation and then push it back in. And then we we'll use a per string suture means then after that we we'll remove the suture. Okay? Suture means suture means. 210 grams. Oh okay. Okay. But the problem now, okay, is you can see it's very inflamed. Okay? Mm. So there's a chance that we can't replace it. Okay, it means that the hole is so small, but then the penis is so inflamed that we can't push it back in. Okay? So that is one of the, the, the issues. Okay? In those scenarios, usually what we might have to do is cut a bit the hole a bit thicker. And the tail hole. Yeah. Okay. okay, and then push it back in, and then we stitch that part as well. Okay, uh, it might not be possible due to the inflammation, 
Okay, so this one we have to give some sedation and then we try to push it in. Yes, mm, okay, so um Penis. so now the thing is uh, we can't guarantee you hundred percent like this one. I know, I know, I know. Oh because the, with uh, penis prolapse, right, usually what happens is if within an hour or within two hours, the prognosis is very good. Okay, but out of that, right, it means now because yours is fine. Yeah, well, usually, prolapse are just for like sure. yeah, exactly. Then you go back in, you see. So, my how 5 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. So, like 5 p.m. Uh, I thought uh, it's 5 a.m. No, no, no. Wow, 5 about 5 to 6 p.m. I, I reach home around 7. So, I just monitor, hope that you will go back, you know. Yeah, I understand. Mm. Uh, it might be quite difficult to push it back in then. Yeah, because it's been out for very long, so what happens is sometimes the therapy traumatizes it, okay, and also because it's out of its normal environment, okay, <coughs> there's a lot of inflammation in the penis. No, I put the the water with the antibiotics uh, to, to No, we're not worried about infection, we're worried about inflammation. I know, I know. Okay, okay. inflammation is trauma, it's nothing to do with the infection. Okay, okay but uh, I tell you what, why don't we put some sedation and try first? Oh, just try first, okay. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. But I, and the thing is, I have to let you know that it's not a guaranteed situation because we have some that are so inflamed, right? They're, they're unable to go in. Amputation, yeah, one of the possibilities. Yeah. No, we need to inform us as long as the information is not much, we can push it right in. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay, okay Ken, yeah. so uh, you have to put here for half a day. Uh, we give you a call after two. Sure, sure. And then okay. I'll let you know whether you can push back, cannot push back, what's yeah, the yeah. next option, etc. Okay. Anyway, so Ken, uh, okay. I told you this one, uh, we try our best. Uh, but uh, what we'll try to do is if we can push it right in, that's the best. Uh, yeah, 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 I know, I know. If we cannot, we'll try to yes. bring down the information yeah. using a bit of, uh, yeah, maybe a bit of salt water or what, and we try to bring down information. Because yeah. what happens is when it's out for too long, right, the water content gets a lot. We call it the edema, la, it's just swelling. Yeah. So we try to bring down the information, we try to push it right in. Okay, okay. Okay, then uh, if you cannot push it very in, we'll give you a call. La. Sure. Uh -huh. This is an illustration of the ideal treatment of a red ear slider with penile prolapse. Firstly, we see that this red ear slider has an inflamed penis. So firstly, what we have to do is to bring down the inflammation so that the penis can fit into the cloaca. So this will allow us to push the penis back into the cloaca and therefore eradicating the problem of penile prolapse. After that, we will also have to stitch the area and stitch up the cloaca. After that, we will also have to stitch up the cloaca to prevent it from coming out. This is an example of another radio slider which is having its cloaca stitched after the operation. Now let us look at the outcome of the operation for this red yard slider. The thing. Okay. And it's a thing. Gas only for about ten minutes. I saw for a night. Yeah. Bite him. Try to tickle him. Tickle will open the mouth. Yeah. If they get irritated, then sometimes you can press here. So one person tickle one person open now. One, one person give that uh, direct. Okay. So then just push it in. Uh. Yeah. Uh, I just, I just just now you ready fit ready? Not no, yet. not yet. Conclusion. On 23rd August 2016, the, the red ear slider suffered penile prolapse. And one day later, it was brought to the vet. We saw a case of an overnight delay, causing us to be unable to push the penis back into the cloaca and leading to the amputation at the end of the video. Therefore, please do remember to seek early treatment at the first sign of symptoms. For more information, you may email the following address or call the following hotlines managed by Tuapayo Vets.